Learn the truth about the game by joining dating and life coach Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham live in New York City on Saturday, April 14th at the NYC Seminar and Conference Center for the Truth About the Game Seminar. In this seminar, Mr. Locario will teach you exactly what you need to know to be successful with women. Space is extremely limited, so purchase your tickets today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent the donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, uh, so my girlfriend and I have been officially together since last June. We go to different universities in different cities here in the UK. Even though we've had sex before, I want her to be the one chasing and begging me for it. What do I do? Do I become more distant, not become too available to her? I want her attention for me to be piping hot, even though she tells me that she misses me and loves me. I want her attraction to be even higher for me. All right. So, you know, since this girl is your girlfriend, right? You got to understand that interacting with her is going to be different than, you know, interacting with a chick who you're just like dating or a girl who might be a fuck buddy or whatever right because you're saying like hey you know you want your girl to be the one chasing and begging you for it and you know should you be distant and should you not be too available for her see if you if you're being distant and you're not being too available that's something that you do when you're sort of like just dating a chick or you're you know you might have a chick who's a fuck buddy or whatever see when you're dealing with a girl who's your girlfriend, you got to run game a little differently. You understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, it's not about you being distant. It's not about you, uh, you know, just being uh, not too available. In fact, the thing is, is that, you know, if you want this situation with your girl for her to be really feeling you, for her to be, uh, you know, seeing you as the type of guy she wants to stick with and be with. And, you know, she she looks at you like, oh, my God, this is my man. I love him and all the other stuff is really like two main things you need to do. You need to fuck her good and you need to be consistent. OK, you got to fuck her good. You got to be consistent. So when I say fuck her good, basically is that, you know, you need to make sure that your sex game is on point when you are dealing with her, especially, you know, uh, if you're in a, uh, in a monogamous relationship with this chick and it's just going to be you and her, you want to make sure that your sex game is on point to sort of keep her, you know, um, interested to the point where she's not really thinking too much about fucking other dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Or cheating on you or whatever like that. Or she'll think twice about it right now. When I say be consistent, what I mean is, is that you have to be the type of dude who knows how to be in a relationship, meaning you know how to um, like be there for the chick. You know how to uh, actually, um, you know, be the type of guy who's not going to be all over the place. You understand? So the thing is, it's not saying that you got to be all up under your girl. But you actually have to be there. So you shouldn't try to be distant. You shouldn't try to be not too available. You should actually be available. You feel what I'm saying? You should actually be there on a consistent basis because this is your girlfriend now. You understand? That's what I'm saying. This is a different, it's a different thing. Because if you're if you're too distant and you're not available, right? That's the thing that's going to make your uh relationship not really flourish and really like, you know, get to where it needs to be. Now, this does not mean you got to be all up under her ass every five seconds and see her every day and all the other stuff. Now, you don't got to do that. But what I mean is, is that, you know, like, for example, if you're dealing with a girl and you're just dating her and she's just a fuck buddy, you might see some girl you're dating or see some girl you're fuck, fucking just like randomly. Like you might see her today and you might not see her again for like three weeks and you might see her two days after that and you might not see her again for another week. That's like, you know, dating and fuck buddy type shit. Now, when it's your girlfriend you might need to be a little bit more consistent than that. You might need to, you know, fucking, you know, let's say you see her maybe um, two or three times a week, but you're consistently seeing her two or three times a week. You understand what I'm saying? Or let's say you talk to her, you know, um, like 
three or four times a week. You know, you know what I'm saying? You have to consistently talk to her on the phone for those three or four times a week. So the thing is, what you have to understand is when it comes to being in a like committed relationship is it's your girlfriend, right? It's about that consistency because part of what the whole like relationship thing is about to, to a certain extent, it's, it's having that, you know, um, that sort of like stability, you understand? So the thing is, is that knowing or her knowing that she has you there to a certain extent, you understand? Meaning she knows that she can rely on you and then she knows she can rely on you because of the consistency. So the fact that you're being consistent and you're fucking her good, that's what's going to make her want to keep fucking with you. Now, there are times where, you know, you should be a little spontaneous here and there, do different things, you know, surprise her once in a while. And that's, you know, that's all good and well and and nice. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but the thing is, you still have to be consistent with this. You understand? So when you're when you have a girlfriend, right, the way to keep her is that's, you know, to, to, to be consistent and to fuck her good. You understand what I'm saying? And every now and then you might want to switch, uh, you know, uh, something up. You might want to surprise her. Even you might want to switch some shit up with the fucking, like you might, let's say for example, you know, uh, she's over your house or whatever. And then y'all always fuck on the bed. And let's say she's in the, in the kitchen washing some dishes and you just pull her pants down and just fuck her in the kitchen, you know, something different like that to switch it up, which will make, uh, her, you know, um, uh, really be like feeling the, the sex and the experience, you understand? And that, and that creates a stronger bond to you because you're giving her an experience that probably no other guy has ever given her. You see what I'm saying? And then that makes her want to continue to be with you and continue to stay with you. So this is why I'll be telling guys, you know, sometimes, you know, um, guys hit me up and they're like, Oh, I want to get a girlfriend. And I'm like, listen, you know, if you do have a girlfriend, you understand? You got to be on some consistent shit. You see what I mean? So a lot of guys aren't ready for, uh, you know, putting themselves in that type of level of consistency. You understand? Like, like, for example, my, my girlfriend, I see her two times a week, every week. You know what I'm saying? There's sometimes where I, I'm, I'm not able to see her because, you know, something comes up for work or whatever it is, but it's generally, I see her like at least two times a week. You feel what I'm saying? And then with my wife, I see my wife basically like every day. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, and then so I maintain that by being consistent and basically fucking them good. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you do it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get your tickets for the Truth About the Game seminar. Space is limited, so get your tickets today. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to BadBoyMembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com